everyone has a favorite modification they've added to their RV. Maybe it's an accessory or a DIY project or just a gadget that they've added. We love to see what others have done to their RVs. In this video, we're going to take you to the Manatee Springs State Park in Florida where we ask a bunch of RVers, what's in your RV? Hi, I'm Steve Bonham uh, from Cincinnati, Ohio. We've been uh, uh, traveling on a road tech on and off for about a year and a half. It's a 2017 CS, which we just absolutely love. Um, well, well, show us, Steve, how you've made that your home and the special things you've added. Well, I'll tell you, the thing we just did that's really working out well is our new bike rack uh, with the swing. As you know, we have to get in the back all the time um, and if you have bikes on there, usually that's a problem. Uh, in fact, we rarely would travel with bikes. You know, we didn't really have a bike rack for this. Um, but we've only had this our first trip, um, but let me show you how this works. It's got a little latch here, a little safety pin, and if I need to get in the back, it swings as easy as a screen door. Um, and just once it's open here, we got full access to the back of the van. Now, what do you call that? It's like an extension, isn't it? Yes, this part here, uh, from here to here, that swings back. Uh, I won't bring it all the way back, but it just adds about 14 inches as a pivot. And that's a separate piece than the bike rack. So you can actually attach any bike rack with a standard two inch uh, receiver. It attaches right there. Attaches right there. A um, little lock. And again, when it's in its closed position, you can see it only adds around, um, no, oh, I'd say about 12, 14 inches. This is the bike rack here, and that's the swing away. That's no. The, this is made by a company called Kuat, K-U-A-T, uh, that also makes bike racks. Uh, but it's a separate piece. Uh, it was about $300. Uh, if you get one on sale or uh, spring sale somewhere, maybe it'll get a little cheaper. But say we've had it just our first trip and it's really working out well. We'll put a link to it so everybody can find it. But right up above your head, you've added something else, I see. Yeah. Um, this is, I think, a great safety feature and convenience. Uh, those of you familiar with the Sprinter, it has a camera that looks straight down. Um, you know, these are commercial vehicles primarily, and it's great when you're backing up to a loading dock. Um, but if you're in a parking lot or pulling out somewhere, you really don't see much. And you can see on the brake light there, it's got a second little camera. Um, and that gives us more of a, you know, wider angle view, uh, which gives me a lot of peace of mind when I'm backing up. And now, what do you do well. about the display? How do you, do you have to have two displays then? Um, there's different ways to do it. You can do two displays, you can do wireless. Uh, we went to a local uh, stereo shop and they actually hardwired it and put it into the uh, display we already had with a little switch. So we can switch between the two views and we didn't have to clutter up our dashboard with a second display or replace the mirror. This is the uh, normal display you see off the Sprinter camera, looking straight down. Now you got about five feet, you see, looking straight down on the bicycle racks. I have a little switch here uh, added, and when I flick that, it gives me the wider angle view, uh, which again is really nice when you're backing up. You can see what's around you. And how did you, where did you get this? At a local stereo shop? Yeah, a local stereo shop in Cincinnati called Carl's Pickups Plus. They do a lot of customizing of vans and pickups and electronics. I noticed they always have a lot of sprinters in their parking lot. And so I went in one day and they work with a lot of the local sprinter dealers, uh, people who do limos out of sprinters, and they have a lot of expertise. And um, I couldn't attempt anything like this, but for so them it was easy. probably most stereo shops could do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, great ideas, great stuff. And there's, uh, there's Patty back there. <laughs> Wave to us, Patty. Hi, I'm Teresa Corral, and I'm from Orlando, Florida, and this is my RS Adventurous. And let me show you what we've done to make it really cool for us. One of the things we've done is a friend of my daughter's. You must be a Gator fan. Uh, yeah. Florida, Florida. Gators. Yeah. <laughs> friend of my daughter's made me this really cool little chalkboard that says, Back soon, we'll be out exploring, and our name, of course. And then on the other side, 
we have a site occupied and a space where we can write in the date. That's and a when great we're gonna idea. Because you never great know idea. when they're going to be up. But the best thing my husband has ever done for me, and we found it online, somebody else did it, it's around on the other side. Because I do travel alone by myself, um, he comes with me occasionally. You know, it's so hard to dump. Pressing this button right here. The macerator. The macerator. And of course, you know, the dump station is 10 feet away. So what he's done for me is he's put a switch on the dash. And that works a little remote control. You want to get it out since it's A remote control. A remote control. And I can see because you've been on a boat, you've kept it in a little plastic case so it doesn't get wet. Well, it doesn't get germs on it. Ah, so tell me how that works. So what you do is you pull out your, just like you would do it any other time, you pull it out, you stick it in the, don't have a dump station here, so you just pull it out, put the hose down into the, the sewer, uh, you turn on the button, you pull, of course you pull your lines out, and then what you do is you push the D on here for dump. And it runs the macerator uh, motor for you, so you don't have to stand there right by that little button. And if you're in the rain, you can sit inside where it's dry. Or, you know, you can actually make sure it's emptying stuff. Yes. You can stand over and look at it and don't have to don't uh, have do to. the long stretch or have, have a second person. What a great idea. And you found that online. We'll put a link to it okay. on uh, the description for this video. That is great. It's wonderful. And the gentleman who has this, the website that we're going to show you has a lot of neat ideas that we've done off and on or thought about doing. So that's us and that's me, Teresa from Orlando. Now what's on your, uh, what's on, this, on the, the steering wheel there though? Um, you know how everybody talks about putting things on your steering wheel? Yeah. Well we have two daughters that may and someday want to do this and we're still kind of new trying to figure things out. So this one is how to watch TV, but it's mainly to remind us, we have one on how to watch TV, how to um, put the awning out, all the little details that you need to remember and we stick them on the, the drivers on the steering wheel so we don't walk off and drive off with the antenna, with the up, antenna up or you know power cords or water cords out. And just some velcro tape attached to the steering wheel. Yeah and that. it's one of those um, name badges things you know the things that you hate. Uh, <laughs> name badges. We don't need no stinking badges. Yeah. So we just took the badges out and st wrote what we need to do and slide it in there and that's how we remember to do things as we're still learning how to do this adventure that we're doing together. I have a Lucy light. You have a Lucy light? Yes. It's a wonderful solar powered light that all you have to do is sit it in your dash. It will soak up the sun while you're out exploring for the day and you can turn it on. It has two different, it just blows up like an old um, life vest or life preserver that you used to use as a kid. It has two different volumes. There's two. It can flash. I have used it at the back of my site coming in at night so that I can figure out where I need to park for the evening. It's a wonderful tool. Hi, this is Tom McAllister. I'm from uh, Conover, North Carolina, and I'd like to show you our Atasca Navion. Okay. <laughs> Let's go look at it. Oh, one of the things I wanted to show you was the, uh, the window blinds. I don't know if you've seen those yet. Well, Our dogs that. might bark when I open the door. But these are nice and that for your closure. Now, is that an aftermarket? Well, let's meet the dog first. Oh, the this dog. is Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, and baby. Bella has beautiful eyelashes that we put on and take off every day. No, they're, they're on she there all really the time. Not. Okay, everybody's going to say, what kind of a breed is that? She's part Bichon and part Louchin. That is pretty amazing, those eyelashes. And we have to trim them. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah. Kathy, Hello, my wife, just trimmed about a half inch of them. Hi, baby. All right. Yeah, all right, we've got a miniature those. schnauzer in there now, also. So but these actually are built... Are these, are these, these built in these, from Navion or is this an no, aftermarket? It's, it's an aftermarket, but Winnebago puts them on as, as standard equipment. 
each Are other. Are these blackout? Uh, not total, but good enough for what we need to do with it. For more information on these gadgets and modifications, look in the description below. And we would love it if you'd do us a big favor and subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channels right here on YouTube. And by the way, when you do that, click that little bell icon and then you'll be notified when new videos are available for you. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thanks for watching.